Hey Pisces, thank you so much for joining me here today for your reading. Thank you for all joining me here today and um, I hope you've been really well. Welcome to all the new subscribers, there's been loads. Thanks so much guys for clicking the subscribe button. Make sure you do if you haven't already. No one's been by my side like you. I didn't know how to appreciate that. Yeah, so they could have been um, ungrateful, taking you for granted. Um, I'm also getting... They recognise that even if they're in a karmic relationship, um, you know, the, the karmic, whoever that is in your situation, if there's one there, um, you know, they, they're not there for your divine masculine in the way that you are. And your divine masculine recognises that. It's just kind of highlighting how different the two of you are, you know, and how much more... Um, loving and caring you are i just can't get out of my head over what i've done to you i'm actually seeing a divine masculine breaking down and crying um so there's still a lot of pain around that you know i i, I feel like the divine masculines here are in a lot of pain about um the choices they've made, the actions they've taken when it comes to you. Um, um, overwhelming guilt I'm getting. Overwhelming guilt. The fact I'm so comfortable with you scares me. The thing is, they are not comfortable with anyone else in the way that they are with you. Um, like I said, if there's a karmic involved here, they don't feel um, that level of like familiarity and, you know, the bond isn't there like it is with you. Um, I know that sounds like quite a funny message, like, oh, if they're so comfortable, you know, why does it scare them? It's just because, um, you know, divine feminines that like, you can break their heart in a way that no one else can and feeling comfortable and like it's it starts to kind of get their spidey senses tingling <laughs> like um well i'm starting to feel attached uh oh this is too scary uh i need to go before i get more attached you know what i mean i never wanted you to think i was just like the others <clears throat> so I never wanted you to think that I was just someone who was using you. Uh, I was someone who would abandon you. And I kind of feel like they ended up doing, you know, those types of things. Past hurt that you've had in other relationships. You know, they didn't want to, to turn around and... Um, you know, hurt you like those people did before. And they've ended up doing those types of things. And I, I really feel like this is why they're so stuck in their head over it. You know, it's like they, they would never want to hurt you, but they did. Yeah. You don't realise the pain I feel over what I've put you through. Right underneath this, I can't get out of my head over this. I mean, that's the word I mentioned earlier. Divine masculines are in serious pain here, I feel, um, over this. So don't be thinking like, they've caused you this pain, they're fine, they're just living this life of Riley. I mean, they're really punishing themselves over this. Um, I feel like they're punishing themselves <laughs> far more than than you could over this. I always find myself in toxic relationships and here you came along. Yeah, because you're cut from a different cloth from other people that they've been involved with. Yeah, so I mean the Divine Masculines here very much been drawn to um, I feel like relationships that 
get them into a situation where they're self-destructive, okay? You're, again, you're so different um, to anyone they've ever been involved with. Um, this is where they start to kind of focus, like, on you to being too good for them and things like that um they you know it's like they finally got lucky finding someone of your caliber um and the panic mode sets in the self-destruct the well i'm normally in toxic relationships because i'm toxic this is the type of treatment i deserve um I don't deserve someone like you. Sorry if you can hear that rustling, guys. Smokey's trying to get into a, <laughs> a plastic bag right now in my shopping bags. <laughs> it's obsessive bags. If you've got cats, guys, let me know if they love sitting on plastic bags or boxes. He's obsessed with those things. I hated how you've been right. I kind of feel like you have tried to tell this divine masculine that they really need to kind of... Mm, it's like... I'm getting this phrase, ship up, sh what's the phrase, hold on. Shape up or ship out, I don't know why I'm getting that. Um, Like you've tried to... Say to this divine masculine that they weren't living their life right. Um, it, yeah, I just feel like you've tried to advise this divine masculine um, of ways that, you know, I mean, without being judgmental, but like ways they weren't living their, their life that was right, you know? They know you're right deep down. Whatever you've said to them. Um, yeah. I'm always being reminded of you. I can't run from this connection. I didn't have stability growing up. This is why I've been about myself. So like unstable, unstable childhood. Um, I, fear of being attached to anyone, you know? So when they get comfortable with you, it's, well, I'm going to, escape the situation um anyone i have ever been attached to in the past um has left me so so i'm gonna leave first even this toxic relationships cars i mean this can be toxic family and toxic relationships with parents things like that and it, i feel like it has led this group to be quite selfish um It's a self-protection um, um, and a system for them to be selfish like that um, because it means they're not relying on anyone else. So physical abuse is at the bottom of the deck there. So some of your divine masculines, <coughs> ooh, ooh, weird thing in my throat chakra there. <laughs> some of your divine masculines um, may have... Um, suffered physical abuse in um childhood you know and um i feel like it's made them it's made them grow up to be like it's emphasized their feelings of unworthiness i just got you know if if their own parents or whoever this was you know could turn around and do something like that to them it's it's you know really left them with a core wound of well if my own parents can be like that towards me i'm like i'm kind of nothing i'm worthless i just got i'm worthless
you will hear from me soon. So whoever's watching, wondering if the communication is coming in soon, then yes. If you've been waiting for a little sign about that, take that as your sign. Don't think because we don't talk, I don't want you because I do. See, they do. And they can't stop. Um, they can't stop thinking about you. Um, part of that is the guilt they feel over the way they've treated you. Um, but yeah, you know, like I always say, it's don't take the silence as not caring and, and them not wanting to speak to you because they do and it's here. As confirmation so and like I always say as well you can only go so long with with wanting to talk to someone and not doing it before you actually just take take the steps and do it I hold back because I don't want to be rejected. Again, as soon as they, as soon as they do start to get comfortable with you and the two of you do get closer, those fears of rejection kick in, um, you know, and they run, but at least they're coming to this conclusion. You're constantly on my mind. I know I can't run from this. So I feel like that's what's prompting them to reach out soon to you. Um, I just know like they're in serious pain over um, what has occurred between the two of you. And if you're not talking here, I mean, they're in pain with the silence too, you know. Um, how long is this? Okay. What are we going to get here? Divine Masculines. Actually... I want to get into the heart space a little bit. Let's get some heart oracles. Okay. Shallow. Superficiality, boredom, blank. Okay, now... I'm feeling... We've also got intimacy, closeness, sexuality, seclusion. So quite like a contrast here. Shallowness, intimacy. So I, I just feel again, this is like the contrast between you and any karmic, romantic relationships they are in or they've had, whatever. Um, you know, those relationships, meaningless, superficial, divine masculine's bored, unfulfilled. They were shallow, you know, whereas you, you guys have this intimacy that they don't have with anyone else, you know, and it's the closeness, it's the bond between the two of you and, you know, fiery passion too, but there, there's an intimacy that it's like you, you reach you know, your divine masculine soul, you get so kind of intimate, like, how am I trying to word this? Like, you, you know, they can't hide anything from you. It's like they're just transparent because, you know, you, you are one soul, you know them in a way like no one else. So you can kind of get right to like the core of your divine masculine soul and it's almost, and no one else can, you know, they're just kind of on the sidelines and it is scary for them. It's that kind of, um, well, you you see through me in a way that no one else can. I hope I'm wording that, that right. But it's just the intimacy is so intense. Um, you know, they can't hide anything from you. <laughs> The runner, oh, divine masculine with these little running shoes on. Um, runner, codependent relationship of, well, fear of intimacy and listening to the ego too much. So that little uh, divine masculine there, 
I, I feel ran into a codependent relationship, so um, yeah, karmic relationship there. They they were listening, you know, they were letting their ego overrule their heart, essentially. Ego talk, you're not good enough, you don't deserve this. Get get back into another toxic relationship. You don't deserve, you know, someone like Divine Feminine. So you better run. That type of rubbish, you know, telling themselves. Whoa. Okay, far too many. Anything else to come out of this deck? What is divine masculine? Oh, well, okay, quite a lot coming out. <laughs> a lot that you don't know, that they want you to know. Okay, so. Oh, wow, okay. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> a lot to go through here. Um, love call. Someone expresses love. Whoa. A message of love. Thinking of you and letting you know. See, they are thinking about you all the time. Um, obviously, we've got this. You, you will hear from me soon. So, like, a call. A call from Divine Masculine. Where they express that love for you. You know? And they want you to know. You know, this video is about... What do you not know that they, they want you to know? They want to know the love is there, okay? So, expect this call, guys. Kisses. Unconditionally loving, giving and receiving, affection, falling in love. Whoa. I mean, an awful lot of love coming through here for you. Um, we've got date. Um, yeah, you know, obviously... Getting back out there, plan, set a date, meeting someone new. I mean, you know, obviously, divine masculines, if they're coming out of a karmic relationship, in a sense, it's like you're kind of new, you know, new start here. Um, but yeah, like, I mean, it could be calling to set uh, a date with you. Um, wanting to make a date with divine feminine, you know. Where they can kiss you. It's almost like, I mean, the card's like, get back out there. Get like, get out. If you're in a karmic relationship, get out of that. Or whatever they're going through, you know, it's like, get out of that, like, um, rut. You've kind of got yourself into. Get out and make a date. Call your friend and up. Make a d date between the two of you. Keys on a ring. Um... You know, I don't, this is a funny card, right? Many options, decision, unconventional, string along, one night stand. I'm actually not even getting this um, from this card. I mean, I just say what messages I feel from the card. I'm getting like keys to a home. <laughs> Complete opposite of this card. Um, I guess it could be, your divine masculines, maybe they have been a bit of a player, promiscuous. I kind of feel this could even be the karmic energy if there's a karmic involved here. Um, oh, smoky! Oh. Sorry, guys, he's just like grabbing my arm there <laughs> to get my attention. Um, <laughs> yeah. It, for me, it actually feels more like uh, keys to a home. Take it however it resonates with this. Clock. It takes time and time cycles, time to heal, progress, okay? So, you know, this is not like immediate, these messages I get, you know. Um, it can take time to kind of filter through to the 3D, okay? This could be on Divine Masculine's mind um, now, you know, and it could take her many days weeks for this to come through but you know allow allow the time to heal between the two of you because you want your divine masculine coming forward when they are healed uh, but for many of them it does feel like this is going to be um pretty pretty imminent you know you hear from them soon so 
Um, if it takes a little bit longer, just know that it's the progress is coming. Time is needed sometimes just to um, get people into the right sort of mindset to come forward. But yeah, guys, um, I'm going to leave this here, I think. Um, but don't forget to give me a like and subscribe if you haven't.